What's up, guys? It's Derek with Houston Freethinkers. We are here in Austin at the Police Accountability Summit with Antonio Bueller. How you doing, brother? Good, thank you. Um, we've had a whole day of workshops, speakers talking about civil rights, how to film the police, knowing your rights when dealing with the police, and much, much more. Why don't you tell us uh, about the Peaceful Streets Project? Peaceful Streets Project is just a grassroots activist movement uh, that spun out of my arrest on New Year's Day. Uh, I was charged with a felony because I was recording cops abusing a woman, and they, once I started questioning them, they attacked me and said that I spit on one of the cops. Fortunately for me, witnesses stepped forward, one of which who had a video, uh, the 7-Eleven surveillance video, um, even the dash cam video all proves that the cops were lying, that I was innocent, and the cops were the criminals that night. But since that night, um, a lot of people came out, told me their personal stories of abuse, and I realized how lucky I was and how many people suffer and get thrown in jail and get victimized by the police because they don't have someone filming them, um, so they don't have anyone standing up for them. So uh, we're trying to change the culture here in Austin, and hopefully you know, it'll spread well past the borders of Austin where people start standing up for their rights. They start refusing to back down to the cops. They start recording the cops, and the criminal cops are taken care of. You know, and you know, we have no problem with peaceful uh, people who want to be uh, policemen, but you know, they have to know what the limits of their uh, authority goes. Definitely. We, and we have to start doing that by showing each other what our rights are. And I think we had a lot of that today with the workshops. Would you say today was successful? There's what, o close to 100 cameras given away? Yeah, uh, we had 100 cameras that we bought and gave away. Um, not only that, but we also had a couple hundred people here at the, uh, at the peak, all people who are sick and tired of what's going on um, here in Austin, and they're fighting back. And all those cameras are going to go out on the streets, and they're going to start recording the police. And when people start seeing more and more examples of police abuse and police corruption, it's going to uh, go a long way in uh, convincing the rest of the populace to, uh, to start abandoning this idea that we need the police to protect us when all they do is primarily take money from us and victimize us. Definitely. Y'all check that out at PeacefulStreets.com. And where can everybody find out more about what your case and helping you out with that? Well, my personal case is pretty good. I don't feel that I'm in much danger. It's just they just string it out and they refuse to send information out to the public, which would make clear to everyone how uh, you know, guilt-free I am. But uh, fortunately, we have other means of getting that information out, unlike so many other people. But uh, they said by the end of July, I was supposed to have my grand jury. It doesn't look like that's going to happen. I have a court date coming up on the 20th. But that's not going to be anything. That's just going to get postponed again. So uh, you can go to the Facebook group. Free Antonio Beeler. Free Antonio Beeler on Facebook, B-U-E-H-L-E-R. And there's updates. If there ever is an update, it comes out on that. But uh, I encourage everyone to go to PeacefulStreets.com or Facebook.com slash PeacefulStreets and get involved with what we're doing. Um, and if you want to start your own Peaceful Streets where you are, you know, reach out to us. We'll help get you started. You guys heard that. It's time to take our streets back. Peaceful Streets Project is in effect. Thank you.